Hello and welcome to another short film about drawing. Uh, this week I thought it'd be fun to have a look at a few books that I've got that I found useful when it comes to drawing cars. Um, although they probably apply to other things too, especially sort of mainly technical stuff. Um, I'm not going to put them in an order because the, the, you know, neither is better than another, but they, they all offer something different, I suppose. So let's start with the first one, and it's the, the biggest one. It's actually a pair of books. There's How to Draw and How to Render by Scott Robertson. And um, it's a, a monster of a book, hundreds of pages, and um, it really does cover everything. So this is the, uh, the full version of everything you could ever want to know about technical drawing. It starts with drawing materials, um, then it goes on to drawing exercises, and then perspective from the beginnings right through, all the way through to the complicated, complicated stuff. Um, then it continues to drawing particular shapes in perspective, so complex shapes, um, uh, interiors, vehicles, of course, lots of vehicles, um, ellipses, and then drawing objects with sections, like these ones here, projecting one, you know, curves from one side of an object to another, all that kind of thing. Um, so it really is very detailed and, and quite technical, it has to be said. But then, it, you know, if you think of it as a reference book that has everything you could ever want to know, <laughs> and you might not necessarily need to know all of it, you might just dip in and choose the sections that apply to the kind of work you do. Um, but at least you know it's all there if you want it. Um, so it really does go into everything, even as far as making vehicles to fit people, and then um, feature lines, scaling, proportion, sci-fi stuff, as well as normal vehicles. And then the second book carries on taking your line drawings and then um, explains how to add some, some colour or some shading, how to deal with all the complex things like shadows, reflections, different lighting conditions, um, all of those sorts of things that you might encounter if you're trying to make something feel realistic. And again, it's just hugely detailed, just packed full of a lifetime's worth of uh, knowledge. It uh, must have been quite an undertaking to put this together. So that's really very impressive and everything. But that might be a bit too scary if you're just trying to dip your toe in the water and see what kind of thing you like, or if you are a younger sketcher, you know, that's kind of a hefty thing just to be throw, to have thrown at you. Um, but luckily, Scott Robertson's also done this one, uh, an earlier book of his, which covers pretty much all the same stuff, but in a, not as much depth, it has to be said, but it's all in there, you know, from, um, from the materials and the basics of perspective and drawing wheels and sections, all that stuff, it's all in there uh, with a healthy dose of wacky Hot Wheels style vehicle designs. Um, so you've still got your reflections and your step-by-step -step, um, sequences, all that stuff. Um, and it's all in a, a much more friendly, jolly kind of package. So I definitely recommend that. You know, you might write it off just because it's, oh, it's Hot Wheels, it's kids stuff, but actually it's a really good book with a lot of information in it. Um, moving on now, we've got a book from Michael Turner, and he's one of my favourite motoring artists. Mainly, you know, I mean, he's mainly known as a painter, um, but at some point he did do this uh, this lovely book, which does cover um, all the basics of drawing drawing vehicles, and um, you know the materials you might need, drawing ellipses, foreshortening. All the usual things, light and shade, um, but it's fairly, it's not as much detail as in the previous books I've just showed you. Um, it very quickly moves on to the paintings, which he's most known for, and the lovely thing is that under each painting is a little bit of a description about how he tackled that particular work and what, you know, challenges, challenges he faced. The backstory, basically, which I find really interesting, because it's one thing to look at these lovely works of art, but it's another thing to to learn a bit more about the backstory and, you know, adds another layer to them. And in between the book, you'll get these chapters on composition, um, lighting, movement, all of these things. So it's, there's a lot of information in there, but like I say, these um, information about the paintings I found particularly interesting. 
Um, later on in the book somewhere there's a, oh, there's a little section on sketching from life and uh, at the very end of the book is a, is a step-by-step -step sequence of him tackling a painting as well which is you know, really good information. Um, so again a, a lovely book. I don't know where I came across that just in the bookshop I think just by chance. Um, the next book I've got is much older, so probably from the 1940s or 50s, and it's by Frank Wharton. And the only copy I could find was one in German, which wasn't a disaster because my mother's German and I can still read it just about. Um, and it does cover all the basics in this small book, construction, using cubes and things, um, ellipses, light and shadow, uh, reflections it goes on to. And it's all illustrated with these lovely charcoal drawings which is stunning. I mean, I'd love to get better at charcoal drawing. It's quite a difficult medium. It so easily becomes smudged and messy. Um, so to do something as technical as these car cars is, is really impressive. It's a section on composition there. But it, the only thing I did find is that that's probably because I struggle with this medium so, so much, is that when at the end of the book it comes to these fully worked up pieces with complicated backdrops, you know, whole landscapes and uh, amazing lighting conditions at the front of this cathedral with the vehicle in front. I just think, how am I ever going to reach this kind of level? <laughs> you know, certainly, I'm not sure the book got me as far as that. <laughs> Although, but sometimes it's good to look at some amazing work and just hope that that inspires you rather than puts you off. Um, but there are some lovely examples, lots of sketches that I didn't, that I might have seen before in advertising pictures that I didn't realise were his. Um, but one to look out for, it's only a small book there, um, perhaps you can find an English copy. And the last book I've got is another old one um, by Bob Gurr, and I stumbled across this by accident recently. Bob Gurr was a, t a car designer and a teacher at the Arts Centre in America, and then later designed stuff for Disney. Um, so he had a full, uh, full life, doing lots of fun stuff. and. It seems that every car designer I know has got a copy of this book somewhere on their shelf and cites it as the, the thing that inspired them as, a, as their budding car designer and that spurred them on to, to follow it as a, as a career. So this book, it does have the basics of drawing vehicles and things. There's the materials as usual, um, feature lines, drawing things in boxes, um, that kind of stuff, ellipses. So these are all your basics, but they're covered fairly lightly. It's not as detailed as any of the other books I've shown you so far, because this book feature, it sort of concentrates more on car design. So it very quickly moves on to the important stuff for designing cars, like proportion and um, uh, layout of your important parts of a car and um, feature lines, that kind of thing. Um, although it does have you know, reflections and things to make your renderings look good. Um, like I say, it pretty much con concerns itself mostly with the important stuff for designing a new car. And that can be really useful if you're just trying to invent cars yourself, and even more useful if you're, dis if you're deciding to become a, a car designer. And um, even though this is a book from way back, the, the fundamentals are still the same, aren't they? It's, it's, it still applies. So um, definitely a, a, an interesting book to look for. And I really love these jet age inspired sort of rocket cars from the 50s. They're just so exciting and really nice, nicely rendered too. So um, another lovely book. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Um, some of my favourite books there. Do let me know in the comments if you've got your own favourites that I haven't mentioned because um, I'm always look, looking out for, for new books to get. Um, otherwise, if you've enjoyed this, like and subscribe and um, See you for another film soon.